take the edge off. Join you on your quest. Mission time. Let's move out. Happy hunting! You're done for.
Our world is not headed for disaster, as you say. The Exalted One's awakening is simply the first step towards the birth of a brand new world. Everything will be destroyed to be born anew. We're going to finish the work that Red started. We won't let you awaken it. I get it that you want to protect Ratha. But all you're doing is making him suffer. Ratha here is the one paying the price for your selfish obsession with the Nergigante. Let's go, Rathi! Fire! It may be impossible to save the world without Ratha's help. Bonds of friendship between riders and hunters. Looks like the children really are our future. Look it up! Understood! I won't miss! in a giant stampede. They attack the village in a frenzied rage. Nobody knows why this happens, but it came close to wiping out our village last time.
What's up, hunters? Y'all having fun hunting and all that? Today, I, Bahari, the kingdom's most prominent scientist, am here to share my research report on free title update 4, version 14, with you. This report is filled to the brim with new intel, and I finally get to show it to you right now. So without further ado, let's look at the latest trailer. The Lord of the Tundra is heartless and cold. Showering its prey in an impenetrable veil of snow. Leading foolish creatures to an icy grave. As you can see, free title update 4, aka version 14, will release on the date shown on screen. Now, let's analyze the info we gleaned from the trailer, shall we? A Velcana, an elusive Elder Dragon, has been sighted at the Frost Islands recently. Numerous scientists have been trying to catch a glimpse of it. I never thought I'd see the day I'd get to research one! Let me tell you what I know. It can freeze the water particles in the air to create pillars of ice which it uses to attack. It freely controls the cold when in combat. It's basically a master of ice. Whoa! As you can see, it can instantly turn monsters into popsicles. I wonder how low the temperature actually is. I'd love to let it freeze me once to find out! Uh, what? Yeah, am I alone in this? Uh-oh! Looks like we got trouble! A variant of the Crimson Glow Valstrax that has overcome the affliction! Just like Camellios, Tiastra, and Kushala Daora, the Valstrax has now overcome the anomaly as well! Elder Dragons ain't no joke! As for the types of attacks you should expect, I have no idea, because it's too dangerous to study. Which means that we'll have to rely on your reports. So, good luck with that! If you bring back its materials, though, I'm sure Manel the Blacksmith will hook you up with some new gear. Probably some sweet new skills, too. I'm getting giddy just thinking about it! The Velcana Quest will become available from Master Rank 10 and Risen Crimson Glow Valstrax from Master Rank 160. So you'd better get extra prepared. Of course, there'll be new anomaly research content as well. 
Afflicted Chaotic Gormagala will be added to A8 Star Quests. Also, the Anomaly Investigation level cap will be raised to 220. And Elder Dragons will start appearing from level 111 and onward. This will yield new materials that unlock the cap for curious crafting. A pain in the Astalos, but so worth the trouble. Every title update also brings new goodies to the Anomaly Research Lab. So go hoard those investigation coins! Event quests will continue to come in as well. There's even going to be a dual threat quest with seething basil geese and chaotic gormagala. There's a very cute reward in it for you. And that's not all. There's one with the furious Rajang and a scorned Magna Malo as well. In the arena. Good luck handling those two at the same time. Event quests have a variety of rewards, so make sure to download them all! Right, now let's have a look at the new DLC. Huh? What are you doing? Hey, I'm hosting a show here! Hey! What the? Diligence wins the day. Huh? What? What the heck was that? Couldn't hear what they were saying, but I know brilliant design when I see it. They look just like the art that's all over Elgato. Seriously, that stuff's everywhere. Keep an eye out for it. Okay, we're almost at the end of the report. Let me show you the upcoming roadmap. This free title update for here will add Velcana and Risen Crimson Glow Valstrax. And we have free title update 5 coming in April. Ah, my scientific sense is telling me that there's going to be quite a fearsome monster in this one. Can't wait to research it. All right, everyone, time for a recap. Monster Hunter Rise Sunbreak, title update 4, version 14, will release on the date shown on screen. And another update is coming in April 2023. Can't wait to see what monsters we'll run into. Also, Monster Hunter Rise was released on Xbox Series XS, Xbox One, Windows, PlayStation 5, and PlayStation 4 on January 20th this year. Sunbreak, the massive expansion, will also be coming in spring. So keep an eye out for more information. All right, time to get back to my research. See you in Elgato, everyone. Bye! Hmm? What's this? That's a very tiny Velcana. Oh, is this a new variant? Hold on, is that a canine? Newsflash, to celebrate the release of free title update four, campaign entrants will be able to get their hands on a Velcana costume that'll make your Palamute look like a Velcana. It might be small, but it's got big energy. 
Take a ride on your Palamute with this outfit and you're guaranteed to steal the show. Check the official website for more info about the campaign and make sure not to miss out.